Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your mid-May 2019 general reading. It's a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Virgo who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Thank you to those who have already done so. Okay, so we have Virgo's energy, the person you came to the reading for, and the outcome. So Virgo, um, <clears throat> there may be the overall energy is that of research, spying, being short with your words or communication, being hasty in, hasty and short, you know, um, being frank with someone or about a situation then there's a need to do research here or to gather information all right so and then also the other other overall energy is the sun for the clarifying so it's like uh, needing to gather information or get clarity about something and then it comes by way of the sun the sun shines light there's um light and positivity shown I guess if that's a word onto a situation um, light is shed you know the the dark is illuminated where you feel um, there's a sense of lack of clarity just by you doing your own research uh, gathering information And holding things to your chest, also holding things to your chest, uh, then comes the sun. So the Virgo is at an energy of the Nine of Cups, the High Priestess. The Virgo is feeling like they are without whatever could make them completely happy. That's why this is the wish card. Make a wish. What you feel you would make you completely happy the ten of cups wish for it hold that to your chest it, do, it doesn't need to be spoken about with everyone something about writing the scroll or a book I don't know um, you've got some wishes surrounding written word um, you've got a wish surrounding something or someone in the background. Um, Pisces, Aquarius. You may be, a, apart from this person, you're wishing, hoping to come together. You may be keeping this person in your energy. You may be spying on this person or vice versa. But this is your energy, Virgo. You may be listening to your intuition in regards to which way to go. Which decision do I make? Uh, I am at a crossroads. I'm also feeling like I'm making a decision in the dark. Um, I feel like there is a situation that would complete me. Or it would be mutually beneficial. This could be a successful relationship. Uh, I, I also have two very real options that I have to weigh up the pros and the cons but hoping and wishing while planning this is the plan here secret plan uh, something held close to you the secret plans of moving moving away from reconnecting with someone who you feel like it's a successful relationship with whether it's platonic or romantic so that's that your person is the five of wands and the queen of swords so your person is there's inner conflict 
and there may be outer conflict also but there's inner conflict with your person uh, there's gossip there's rumor um, there's a lot of opinion surrounding this there's a lot of unresolved um, conversation it never got resolved and this may be within a marriage a long-standing union is this is with someone you you have some type of historical history some historical reference with it could be you don't have to have known them forever but you know you 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 know them enough to to where there is conflict and this is in love and romance so conflict between the two of you conflicting uh, opinion oppo opposition all together because of you fill in the blank so because there is opposition there are things uh, that were never resolved uh, conversations never resolved um, your person stands in truth and clarity the queens are always focused on their element so this queen is focused on the truth she wants clarity she wants a conversation she wants to be clear she is assertive she is smart your your person could be he also it's just that this person is focused on having conversation about uh, past or present conflict uh, we can't move forward until we we deal with this says your person your person may have been through a lot with you or with other people uh, life lessons up and downs uh, turbulence uh, so yeah they they're very clear on what it is they will accept or won't the outcome is the temperance card and the five of wands again um, the outcome is compromise making something work a wealthy partnership a healthy partnership a mutually beneficial partnership um, or marriage a new love or new marriage that is the outcome or someone's trying to salvage a marriage but still resting in conflict inner or outer um, things will be illuminated here um, even though there's a bit of conflict here know that the Sun is here shedding shedding rays of positive light there has to be sacrifice here in order for it to work okay so let's jump into career and finance we're going to go over to the website and clarify the outcome yes we know that though there may be a salvaging of a relationship there might be um, a new start a uh, new marriage but being or uh, having a bit of conflict surrounding that or opinion or rumor um, so we'll clarify how that all turns out so in career and finance the overall energy is the five of swords so you've been in um, some structured dynamic corporation institution for a very long time uh, there may have been jealousy here um, always feeling like you need to be on guard the need to fight for or stand your ground or take up for yourself in this um, this job temperance strength the moon the chariot ace of swords four major arcana the spirit is trying to help you see that maybe there's another way for you to earn income you may have to divorce uh, separate from an old way of earning income plan make a plan of action to release this burden the loss of burden um the burden that is maybe this job 
uh, because you're just trying to make it work here. You're trying to have the strength to make this work, to compromise all the time in this this job, this career sector, but having a deep longing and feelings to do something else, to have victory somewhere else, or to at least have control over your own destiny here. Uh, there may be some unexpected change, um, something you don't see coming in your in your career in finance. If you divorce, if you choose to have a complete ending from something that is no longer serving you, Ace of Swords, if you choose to have an ending and a new beginning, and the cutting away of and the starting of the, of a new, then you could have success in this business, in this business venture, in this new start, in this new offer, maybe from another company. You're going to have to once again there is a sacrifice and a severing of ties to gain victory a forward forward um, so propelling yourself forward the chariot moves forward it holds only one This happens over time. We're going to clarify a little bit more over the website. So, Virgo, it just looks like there there may be a change, a much needed change, one that you're you're not 100% opposed to in your career in finance. It's just like you need the boost. You need that word propel. You need something to propel you into that victorious state. In love and romance, it looks like there may be a rekindling, a coming back to, um, uh, a making work, a salvaging a relationship, um, but there's still inner conflict, either from you, Virgo, or the other person, or both. Alright, so let's go on over to the website to see what the outcome is, alright? Thank you, Virgo, for tuning in. I hope that this reading resonated with you for you if it did click the link below to get the extended read the extended read is only two dollars to gain a bit more clarity um, if you'd like to book your own reading go over to the website uh, make sure you use coupon code 10 off 35 that's ten dollars off any reading 35 dollars or more thank you virgo know that i am praying for you pray for me as well take care